told everybody, yo, you know what's even more confusing than Tom McDonald and Ben Shapiro on one rap song together? The most confusing part about this is that Ben is a better rapper than half the rappers in the game right now. Uh, so you got you just you got to imagine this is Ben's first rap song. This is Ben's first verse. It's being seen by millions of people. Nobody is a great rapper on their first rap song. Nobody kills it stepping out the gate. Everybody's first attempt at this rap thing, it's always brutal. My first attempt at rapping was brutal. Eminem's first attempt at rapping was probably brutal. And Ben Shapiro stepped out the gate and killed it, uh, which is incredible. So Ben's not in here right now. We're, tr we're, tr we're trying to get him in here. Uh, but, you know, Ben Shapiro deserves a round of applause. He uh, absolutely demolished this song. You guys, just, just check this out for a minute. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read you guys some names real quick. Nicki Minaj, Britney Spears, Justin Timberlake, Megan The Stallion, Morgan Wallen, Eminem. Those are all people, those are all people that we beat on the iTunes charts today. So I don't know, Ben killed it so bad. I don't know if, I'm gonna see if Ben sent an invite, uh, a request. I just accepted, oh, is it working? Yo! There we go, it's my boy Tommy Mac. What's up, bro? What are you doing today? Can I talk like this now, or can I speak? I don't even know how this works. <laughs> no, you can you can just speak in your regular Benisms. Oh, okay. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. So, yeah, you know, this is what uh, a career of classical violin training led up to this point. Thousands of dollars worth of training in classical violin. This so is the, this is the we could of the together mountain. become the number one artist in America in in rap, a genre that I famously love. That you know, I've, <laughs> I've had a deep an abiding adoration of rap ever since I was a youth, but a youth. It was Bach and uh, and the Beastie Boys. That was that was that was the that was the rotation, you know. And now, like arguably, like you're up there in that upper echelon with those guys. Oh, 100%. Absolutely. I, I don't know. I still, you know, I still have a ways to go with the rap, as you say. You know, this is my first time out of the gate, but you know, we, there there are, there are a lot of there are a lot of heroic rap legends that we that we just overtook today, including. Of course, Cardi B, who, and again, I knew I'd be good at this because my version of WAP was way better than hers. And then there was Megan the Stallion, two E's, because you are the Stallion. It's not just Megan the Stallion, it's <laughs> Megan the, the are the Stallion. We passed up Nicki Minaj. Was, uh, I have to say that her critique of, of the Stallion was well taken today. So I, I enjoyed that as well. But Congratulations to you because you made all of this happen. And um, honestly, this is definitely one of the most bizarre days and weeks of my life. So this is this is not where I thought we would be. Dude, me too. Um, I got to say, it's been an absolute pleasure. I finally found another artist that the internet hates more than me, um, <laughs> which is which... Uh, the, the amount of crap that you were taking for court. Uh, I mean, honestly, if I had what's kind of amazing about all of this is that if I had tried to foresee what, where exactly the crap was going to come from on this. I might have foreseen that some of my audience members would be like, why are you doing rap? What's the deal with rap? You've been, you've been hating on rap for, for 20 years. But no, they were pretty happy with it. Your fans were pretty ticked at you for stepping in with, with me, which, uh, you know, I, I have to admit, I, I'm pretty edgy. I mean, let's be real. You can look at Tom, you can look at me, you can tell which one of us is the edge lord. You can tell which <laughs> one of us looks like the kind of guy who, you know, you, you know, if you're talking about a person who you trust as your accountant, and all you had were the photos, Definitely would be Tom. So you know. The, the <laughs> well, you know, you know what, you know what we both have in common now, though. Um, you know, maybe you'll get a face tattoo sometime in the future. Uh, that remains to be seen. But as of right now, uh, we are both number one charting rap artists on iTunes. Yeah, yeah. I'm the number one rapper. I changed my Twitter bio already. This is the proudest I've ever been of any accomplishment. It's been like you know, Harvard Law School. New York Times best-selling author multiple times, you know, co-founded a massive multi-billion dollar company. But I got to tell you, this day, you know, interviewed Elon Musk earlier this week, I got to say, this day, like, the best. Like, it goes like the birth of my children, and then like here. And then like today, it's like, it's off the charts. It's off the charts. <laughs>
January 26, 2024. That's the day that Ben Shapiro officially became a number one charting rapper. That's pretty friggin' cool, dude. Oh, yeah. So, like, I was just, I was showing everybody the list. Like, it's pretty wild, man. Like, Nicki Minaj just dropped. Britney Spears, who's been in the headlines for what feels like years, uh, you know, with different antics, playing with knives and dancing around and whatever. Uh, Justin Timberlake, who just dropped his first song in what seems like forever. Megan The Stallion dropped last night. Morgan Wallen dropped last night. Eminem dropped last night. And on top of that list of names is Ben Shapiro and Tom McDonald. That's pretty mind blowing. You unlocked a skill set that I frankly didn't know that I had. Now, I will say that, you know, all of my stereotypes about rap and, you know, just being able to walk out the gate and say words to a beat, um, maybe they were true. A little? Maybe, maybe? Maybe not. Maybe, maybe it was just that you're very good at this. So in any case, it, it, is, it is an amazing thing. And, uh, and honestly, like, if, if we do hit Billboard number one, th there may be actual calls to the suicide hotline at the, at the Billboard headquarters. Like, I can't imagine how things are going over at iTunes today. Dude, uh, I mean, people, people within the music industry, like, as much as this is, like, a hilarious for, for us and it's, like, a giant troll, there's no denying that you have – actual talent to do this um and 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 but but there's people at billboard right now there's there's people who have spent you know multi-million dollar budgets on marketing the britney spears record on on marketing the megan the stallion record etc 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 there's people in those offices tearing their hair out right now they can't figure it out like w they've got all the resources in the world they've got all the money they got the banners on itunes and, and they, they got they got ads all over the place on youtube and somehow Tom McDonald and Ben Shapiro have ended up uh, uh, defeating all of that and ended up at number one, uh, which is pretty cool. I do have to say um, it's not in the bag yet. To, to anybody that's out there watching, uh, Billboard will stop counting our downloads on Thursday morning. So we have from now until Thursday to get as many downloads as humanly possible of our new song, Facts, Download it on iTunes, download it on Amazon. Uh, and if everybody can come together and move as a unit and push this song, uh, come Thursday of next week, we could end up with a number one rap song on Billboard. Bring America together. You know, there's so many things that divide us, but I think that coming together around the personal success of Tom McDonald and me, I mean, if, there, if there's one thing that can bring <laughs> Americans together, it's that, it, it's that. Uh, yeah, I got to run here because we're about to hit Sabbath. But, you know, from b -Shap to you, my brother. I appreciate it. Much love, Ben. I'll talk to you this evening, brother. Yeah.